again. We have them again. We cast them yesterday. Here they are again. SK Gaming as the blue team here on the left side of Cursed Hollow. And we have Araragi going to the bot lane on Tychus. In the mid lane we have Zarmini playing Arthas. And the triple stack in the top lane. BZ on Tyrande, Link playing Uther and Bakery on Sergeant Hammer. BZ using my favorite Tyrande skin. That is the one that I run with. And on the right hand side in the red trunks. It is the Throwers. And in the top lane, it is Drestil or Drenstil on the Thrall. In the mid lane, it is Sat Satoroz on the Valor. And in the bot lane, it is Homer on the <laughs> on the Tyrael. That's an easy one. It is Doki on the Tyrael, on the Tastar, sorry, and Tant and Tatan on the Brightwing. It would have been cool to see uh, Doki play with this skin on Sky Temple. He would fit in so well. Yeah, the Luxor, the Luxor the theme. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a caster minion. <laughs> Ignore me. Alright, but yeah, it is the party lane. This is the strategy SK I've been running quite a few times now. Running with the party lane up in the top lane first. They'll kill off the towers and the gate here and then immediately swap with their mid laner and take the party to the mid lane. It is what they run pretty much every time on this map. And I like what they are doing here. They are running to Rand as a sort of assassin pseudo pseudonym where they can just sort of keep her up here. She'll help clear waves and she is that extra heal and vision to help prevent such hammer from being ganked. It is an interesting strategy and one that I think will work quite effectively here. And look at the amount of damage hammer's taking and she's just going to get healed up with no trouble. And the fact they have two healers means they won't have too much trouble with mana. We're finally going to see that rotation come out of... Um uh, come out with the throwers here. Omer rotating to, towards top, and so is Tesla. And they really needed that rotation, otherwise, that it would have been in trouble. And constantly, Tyrande is just sending out her owl, um, giving him a little bit of vision, seeing, okay, who else is uh, sticking to these lanes. Yep, yeah, they do have vision of all the other players, but they need to know where their opponents are at all times. If they can hit one of them, it gives them a long time worth of vision, so it's very useful if she can land one of those owls on any of the enemy players. Right now though, SK being pushed back a bit, they're having no trouble with sustain, but the double wave clear coming out from Tyr from Tyrael and Tassadar is actually proving very difficult to for them to deal with. So right now, they're weighing themselves out a bit, they're getting comfortable, and it looks like we're gonna actually see Tyrande heading, maybe for the mercenaries, yeah, heading for those mercenaries. Can she actually take those on her own? Well, she can't hit both of them, that is, uh, that is one fact. And it's gonna be Bakery who comes down to assist her with that. And she's taking a lot of damage here. The heal is nice, and she has Hunter's marked it, so Bakery will allow her to help clear this up. Healing Ward going down. I think Beezy's gonna die here. Nope, he's backing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really need that Healing Ward. Um, otherwise, he might have been in trouble. But with Bakery's help, they can finally take it out. I don't know if this was worth it, though. I mean, this took quite some time. Um, they didn't lose any these... lane XP. Yeah, okay, that's true. That's true. The, the, the issue with it is Beezy's now gonna have to go back which means he's not ready to help take that tribute. And it looks like SK are just going to ignore it. Tychus or Araragi going to be denying it as long as possible. But the rest of the team, they're just heading back to lanes. Ufa has been dueling with Tantan, uh, Tatan up in this top lane for a while. But uh, they haven't lost much XP. Zarmani left his lane for a little bit. But they are still ahead in XP and they still have the chance to grab those free tributes. They're only one behind. Yeah, this first tribute is not really that, that important. And they're back to the triple stack here. The party lane is in top lane again. And There's constantly, the constantly sending out these owls by BZ. Really good job. Oh, Doki. Trying to make a move here onto Bakery. There is the critter eyes. But Bakery? Tatan, very much um, not caring at this point. He's yeah. just literally sieging up and letting his team deal with it. They've well, they already the taken down one tower. As well, so, um, yeah. Oh, really Bakery? Hard to react, but Bakery is nice. quite low now. So much healing. He's completely fine. That healing totem and the Uther heal as well. He has just got so much sustain here. They just did a lot of burst damage to him. And they've already taken down one tower. They will take down the second. They might leave the gate in this case, but they're just trying to get as big of an XP lead as possible for this early game. There goes the owl. Wow. We'll be able to see that there's currently two people in this bot lane, which means Arthas is getting free XP. And they're going to be able to push this down. There they go. More so we will see the team. Uh, we will see after this tribute them rotate to the mid lane and make that their lane. Do the exact same job there and take down all the towers. Tribute spawns on SK's side in two seconds. So we're going to see quite a few of them move down there. Tarand is currently the one staying in the top lane for the XP. Misses Doki with the stun, but still in a pretty comfortable position. There goes the Owl. So she's going to be able to see Brightwing is currently heading up to the mid to the top lane. 
And um, as I was talking about here, these um, first aids are coming in out of Tychus and Sergeant Hammer. So, so much healing um, alongside Tyrande and Uther and that healing ward that Tyrande took here. It's just crazy amounts of healing and sustain uh, for SK. And then we have triple battle momentum once again on Thrall, on Tyrael and Valor. Yep, looking pretty nice this time. This time it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, Tyrael, once again, a little bit less standard, but still a very, very nice ability. Homer jumping in there, taking quite a bit of damage, but he is going to be backing up here. Destil, on the other hand, is in quite a lot of trouble. He's being dropped low, and he does go down to the death oh, world. Oh, great route here on everyone, and Homer caught out a little bit here on the light's left side, but maybe they can force him away, and they get a final kill. Oh, on out this Stokey. Stokey's yep. gone. Should go down here. Yep, and, and so will Homer. Go. Yep, there's Homer. We're going to see Brightwing and Valor will be able to escape there. Uh, but Tribute will go over to SK. This will put them up on a tie in terms of Tribute, and they hit their level 10s in that. None of them had to use them, and we're seeing the star fall out of Tarant. Other than that, basic ability, uh, standard heroic abilities, nothing out of the ordinary there. And exactly as I said, Bakery, if you're hanging in his mid lane, has already taken down both towers. He's either going to keep this push going on the top and mid lane wherever he can, or he will once again get the lane swap going and head to the bot lane and they'll take down all their mind. There's no towers left. So he's going to pick a lane and try and try and push in a fort on one of those and prepare for the next tribute with mercenaries and anything damage they can do. But mass siege damage uh, has come out of Tychus. That's uh, 38,000 already. Like I said, he and took that. There's no towers left in the bot lane. He did that yep. himself. Not bad, <laughs> not bad. Kind of thinking that uh, Valor would be a good opponent versus him, but it doesn't really look like that. I mean, Valor has the most hero damage and siege damage. Yeah, she has the most hero damage and siege damage, but Tychus is just too sustainy and just too good at harassment. The grenades, huge disruption. You're going to take multi shots and maybe, maybe a puncturing arrow, but it's not enough. Currently, boss being taken, but in comes Beezy, looking for the steal. Linked has already Ooh. managed to get himself in there, goes in, they steal the boss, and they're continuing this fight. Bakery completely wipes out Thrall. Doki is going to go down as well. Face shift was not up in time. Tatan is being dropped low. Eldwin's might did not save Tyrael, and he goes down to SK with the amazing steal, and Satcher is going to go down as well to Zarmany. What a perfect timing, stealing the boss. Uh, getting four hero kills, and they will grab free tribute here as well. And, oh, yeah, just going for the Bruiser camp on top of everything. Really, really amazing fight here for them. And, uh, I mean, I gotta say, that was a perfect timed uh, Divine Storm. Just going in there, uh, Link stealing everything, and getting out safely with that Divine Storm. Perfect timing. Yep, that was very well played by them. Oh, Drensil's in trouble here. There's the root, and they're trying to body block him as well. He goes down in no time. Loki popping into the town and into his heroic form, and Homer trying to get away, and looks like he can get away there. But they're trying yep. to put on pressure here. Port is down. Next tower will fall, and they will probably get the skate as well. Yep, and having a look at the hero damage tag quickly, we can see that Tarande is actually keeping pace. Not too much, but pretty well with the rest of her team. She's far ahead of Ufa and only a little bit behind people like Tychus. And she's doing a fantastic she's doing a fantastic job. Her healing is uh not bad. She's actually keeping up with Ufa as well in that. So this Taranda, with the help of that healing ward, proving to be a fantastic addition to this composition. Yeah, that's that's a certainty here. And he's um Siege Giants in the bot lane, doing a little bit of work, but they will swiftly be dealt with here by our Ragi. There's the next tribute coming up. Yep, and seeing SK trying to do as much harassment as they can. Polymorph went out, but it didn't really get much accomplished other than scare Zarmany away a bit. Down comes the stun, lands on Homer, Hunter's Mark instantly onto Homer as well, and he gets annihilated by the Starfall. We did see the Sundering come out of Dresda when he's doing a lot of damage here, but he's not going to be able to finish anyone off. Zarmany blocking him away from BZ there. And SK, once again, with the cleanup, he's going on to Saturus, misses the Napalm. Bakery in a bit of trouble here, drops some mines, the knockback should save him, and can he get the kill? No, oh. he can't, Napalm's on. Ow! Oh! Ooh, the Owl barely so missing Saturus here. Wow, it could have been a team wipe once again, but again, the, uh, the respawn timers are so low right now that um, it would have not been enough for that win already, but they will get a keep here. With a curse down, might get a second one as well. Dumb is so aggressive. Right on top of that tree. Right on top of that tree. 
When I pointed out, my brother just pointed his head in my room and just mouthed to me, ow, with a, <laughs> in a questioning manner. But right now, SK pushing in onto Tantan. He's able to blink heal away, though. But they did ground this keep. Bot keep is also looking uh, pretty tempting here, I'd say, for SK if they wanted to roam down there. They still have 20 seconds left. Watchtower is pretty open there. And top lane is already under siege, but it looks like they're going to play it safe. They're backing up. People need to are going back to base, and we're already seeing Zarmany on his way to boss. He will start that. Tychus and Ufa also on the way. Al just going to get some vision of the other team so they know exactly where they are. They know they might be coming to this boss, but SK, I think they'll be able to take this before uh, the enemy team does get there. Yeah, this is really interesting. I mean, they're uh, almost four levels ahead, uh, so this is crazy. This is insanity for SK. I can just go for um, really, really crazy tactics right now, but so far they're just playing it safe, just doing all the good stuff without risking anything. And yeah. they will just try to deny tributes for uh, the throwers. Yeah, this is a fantastic setup for SK at the moment, doing a great job. We're seeing a finally a reign of vengeance out of this Valor, but we saw it dropped in that last fight and it didn't really do that much. Wasn't able to catch anyone out because just... SK don't care. They just roll through all this. Well, they're just so ahead in levels. They can they can just take a beating like this. Oh, that owl hurts now. They've taken the damage upgrade on the owl with Ranger. And uh, that's going to start hurting very soon. Yep, they also have Immortal Coil, Stone Skin. Oh, oh uh, on the left side. He will go down. Oh, no, he's summer. alive. Oh, wow. <laughs> He stuck just out, he gets rooted suffering. though, that might not be as much, but he's still alive! He's trying to back out here, Starfall goes down, and Homer is able to get out. In fact, the entirety of the throwers able to escape here. Doki is being dropped quite low here. Homer using the judgment onto Bakery, but Bakery is just tanking it all. He has the Homer Siege, he has the healing totem. Homer goes down, we're gonna see Dread still go down, thanks to the owl. He f finally we get an owl kill in this game. Zarmody being dropped a bit low, but so much healing is going to keep him alive. Beezy, we're doing an amazing job in this backline. Tessan! Oh, Napalm yep. kills him off. He goes down, and SK moving onto the core. They have the bruiser camps and the catapults from the mid lane, and this will be GG. SK will be moving on to the round of eight. Wait, ranked round of 16. I forgot we started on 64. Round of 16 already. Yeah. Round of 16 already, and they might carry us off against alternate in the next round. We'll have to check the bracket for that. Yeah, SK, four levels ahead here at the end, and um, zero kills on wow. throwers. 17 to zero 